And then there's also uh, after the burial, we they brought us out back in 2009, and that was a that was it was with them and uh, who else was on it? it was, oh, for today they were on it. I don't think for today liked us too much. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> I understand that's, why. That's so funny, dude. Like, yeah. I, it's it's weird how a lineup like that even existed in the first place. The like, agents like doing it. They're, they're like, let's have fun with these two. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember the first tour we did with them. They came up to the front of the stage. We were playing like some unholy song we had, and they were mm -hmm. like, like praying at the front of the stage. Was, that's cool. I mean, I I did. I was just nervous when he was doing it. Cause I, I didn't feel mad about. it. I felt bad. I felt sad. I felt like we did something wrong. At the end of it, it was over. They like took us aside, like read to us every night, that kind of thing, which is all cool. Like none of us were like dicks about it. We we're like, I know some people would be like, I don't want to see that shit, but that's corny to me. It's like, hey, they're they're going mm -hmm. all the way to you know, this is what they believe. I, I get that. Even at that age, I mentally knew that that, that that's you know, it's fine. But I just remember at the same time feeling that guilt. I remember the mass. I remember asking them, like, can you guys just not do that? Maybe like on stage, just because like it's really weird for us because we're playing this heavy stuff and people are praying yeah. as we're playing. And it's just very, it makes me feel like we're like lepers or something. You're praying for like it feels really odd for us. <laughs> You're yeah. trying to go all out, would like be like in the zone, like just yeah. like be in that mindset, and you've got this going on. It's kind yeah, of I got, like, like, I got like holy water in my eyes. I'm like, stop. <laughs> like I, I get, I get it from their perspective, but to me though, there's a way of doing that. You yeah. know what I mean? Like there's like I, because for them, I'm pretty sure they were trying to. Save no, they're just guys. trying to save us. Yeah, they're not trying yeah. to defend us. No, they're they're trying to do a good thing, basically. But they are, that, yeah. being, that being said, I I feel like you have better results just talking yeah. normally to the side with people. Yeah, just just like the the best way to me to like help people or change their mindset or whatever is by just talking normally, just having yeah. those discussions and 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 about life. Um, but, but that's kind of, you know, it's, it's a tricky topic because I know a lot of people are like really passionate about it and it's fine. But personally, the way I would go about it would be more that because like for you see a lot of movies or bands or whatever, and it's, it's a team, like it's not, you know, it's not, uh, yeah. you know, they're, they're not trying to do a ritual on stage, you know what I mean? Like if yeah, they're yeah. playing music. So, and, and, but how was it though to, you mentioned like Rolls Funeral playing with those bands. It, were they still doing like speeches on stage, um, you know, during that era for today? Because I, I think they would I think like they always did for today. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. They, they were actually we did two. The, our first one of our first casualty tours was with for today and uh, Dance Club Massacre and mm. Some of the, I forgot the name of this other band, but anyway, we would go, we would go out with them, and they would they, he had dread. This is how I know he had dreadlocks really long back then. Their singer Maddie, and uh, he would they would do the speeches, all that. Then they got signed. To, I think it was Face Down, maybe or whatever. I think it's Face Down. Pretty sure, yeah. And they are whatever Christian label it was, and they would they would go out and do uh they would do like a uh, bigger tours. Like we would we would get jealous. They're like, oh, they got to do a warp tour. They get to do this. They oh, they're going out with August Burns Red and all you know Devil Wears Prada. And then all of a sudden we toured with them when they were. They were direct support for After the Burial. We were like, way down here, and they you know, they all had, like you know vests on, like short hair, and like, earpieces in, and they didn't do the the, the speech that much. Like they did like you know for mm -hmm. a minute, like this is all for Jesus Christ, blah, blah, blah. and then like you know the song. They wouldn't be up there for wasting like ten minutes of time where they could be playing songs because you know they have managers who are like, hey, you have a career now, you have songs that the fans, you know, you have to especially yeah. with ASCAP and stuff like that. Like you know, the more songs you play, the more. You know, it's all business. <laughs> yeah, but do, do you remember the reaction? Like, w did you remember if the, some people would react badly to that? Because, like, I would only imagine, like, people... Yeah, there'd be immature I've people. i stories. <laughs> there, there, there'd be people that would, like, you know, go boo. or and, I, and back then, like, I still wasn't young enough to be, like, a, someone who would, like, drink habitually or anything like that. So at the time, I would see, like, drunk people, which to me were, like, aliens. I was like, oh, my God, that guy's drunk. Almost like someone's some, seen someone on acid or something. They'd be throwing beers. I'm like, whoa, what a crazy guy, you know, back then. Like, mm -hmm. But... I mean, it was it was I would see some stuff like that, but I, for the most part, I mean, it's not like we were playing Christian venues. They were out of their element touring with in metal yeah, venues yeah, with yeah. bands like us, because you know, I mean, the rest of us we had a, a message, but the other bands of tours would be more secular, like with anything or more, what do you call it, like um, the nothing. They would have they would be talking about like the fucking whatever, like girls. They wouldn't be talking about you know God or no God or whatever kind of stuff. There would be us and them. We would look at each other like, oh God, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's why I was asking, because it's like, you know, Rules Funeral, you guys, you know, even Die Art or everything like I would imagine those people going to a show and then, 
you know the, the people that, that wants to see like dark stuff or whatever and and, and then you see right, this just guy from a fan base perspective of having people that are there for the anti-god stuff are being yeah. preached to by the other band on the bill you know it's kind of a clash for sure and and yeah. and vice versa right like well if we yeah. played first i'm pretty sure those people would walk out if we played first just like the yeah. die hard people because they wouldn't be into that and especially because there are some people that i think were into our, our, our message of the lyrics a lot, you know, their imagery a lot. Like that was, you know, they would have a tattooed on them or they'd be wearing like, there'd be like God free clothing lines people would wear back then and stuff like that. Like I remember yeah, they would, they would give us some shirts and stuff like that and be like, you have to wear this. <laughs> Vest clothing. That was one of them. I remember. Mm. Yeah. 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 Huh. Yeah. That's yeah. It's, 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 it's kind of crazy because back then i think there was also more of a you know for today wasn't the only band like that you know you you had quite a quite a few you know christian deathcore yeah. bands and that always kind of was like a, a, a almost felt like um something that wasn't meant to mesh yeah. <laughs> you know like, like a, impending doom that's that's the number yeah. one I, we were friends with some of the guys in impending doom and i would ask uh actually manny was the guitar player at manny from impending doom he was the guitar player of i said to kill when we toured together and i would talk to him about it oh, all the time and, I, and i'd be like so well because they, they would go on like all these tours with white chapel you know with with you know what would it be like brooke reeves or whatever like you know on you know face to face with phil on these tour flyers and stuff like that and, you know every single band would be like the whole time you know anti this anti that and then he'd be up there doing his thing but he wouldn't preach at all and it would be like in the lyrics i guess but i mean i would listen to it and i i would get i could see it in the lyrics i guess but it was more still angry deathcore lyrics to me like you know looking at it yeah. all i never saw i never made a difference like personally you know like to me it's like if i fucked with the music i fucked yeah with the music, that's how i am like, yeah yeah yeah, it's, it's just it's, yeah. it's the speeches that make the difference, really. <laughs> I th I think personally, like I, we had these discussions like quite quite a few times. It's not that I'm necessarily against it, but it's it, it's just like you know, it's it's your spot, it's your time, it's your band. Yeah. Like, do whatever the hell you want with it. It's fine, but I feel like it might do the opposite of what you want by doing it this way. You know what I mean? Like it, like yeah. I'm trying to picture someone who's already against that, right? right <laughs> and they're at a show <laughs> and then you stop everything to like it's it, it, yeah it's... but you, they're probably not playing for the haters though like to their no. point you know i think no. i think they're they're preaching for their own people right and and yeah. to, to a certain extent i'm assuming people that are into that sort of thing they you know they fuck with those bits so it's you know it, and i imagine they're having a moment with like you know like, like they believe in god i imagine they're having a moment with god while they're doing that yeah. like they're having their own personal thing too because it's not it's about the fans too but it's also about them i understand it all way more now yeah. i mean i was mature back then i was the way i thought i was never ever offended that they did it the back of my head i was like i really wish they weren't doing this while we we're playing but at the same time i totally understood why and no one in our band not one member of the 30 guys or everybody put one seven six not one member was like fuck that i fucking you know whatever fuck them no no mm. one said that and I now now at this age I look back and I'm you know sometimes I'm like man I hope he didn't offend too many people with the upside down crosses you know <laughs> yeah. yeah but but again the world was a bit different yeah. back then you know what I mean like I I feel like now it's more like you know we're super and it's fine right like we're more aware of just like how um, you know it's not a, it's not even about respect it's just about like letting people live and, and 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 do their things you know like you can believe in what you want to believe but back back in the days you know being younger and everything i could i'm pretty sure a band like that probably ran into like you guys were cool it's awesome but i yeah i wouldn't be surprised if they had other situation you know what i mean like they, they there was some bands who were you know i'm sure i've heard about stuff back in the day I've, i remember reading like i don't know if it was on lamb goat comments or on myspace on someone's bulletin or i don't i don't remember where it was but i, I remember reading stuff like you know about them like going on tour or, or, or other christian bands too and like you know playing these you know festivals of these other metal bands like where you know or just, i think it was more like kids in the crowd would probably do it like you know drunk disorderlies like in philadelphia at some show in some basement be like the fuck you say what, what's that john you know that kind of stuff going on yeah because um, i mean there's people getting yeah upset or aggressive for like less than that you know what i mean so that that's why yeah. i'm like oh my god you know imagine someone already kind of kind of drunk or whatever and then yeah. and then something like that throwing a beer bottle there's that for today guy for yesterday but, you mean <laughs> i mean uh, but i do i do want to say that i really command a band that's like courageous enough because like we're talking about the other standpoint but imagine how intimidating it is to go in a room completely you know you're playing with like rose for no bands like that and 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 you talk about something that you fully know that the entire room or almost 
you yeah. know, are exactly the opposite belief. So I really, I, I think it takes courage, though, to I think to so just, too. Just to their conversation, you know, like I respect that a lot. Is what I'm saying, you know. I do like too. I'm, yeah. I, I'm more of just like I don't want to offend anyone. Just like do your thing. So so like when I see someone who's just like that's my belief boom 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 i'm like wow okay that's yeah you know, <laughs> that's it takes courage uh to say the least yeah i so. mean I, and i've seen a lot of stuff about maddie maddie Montgomery, montgomery montgomery yeah is it is it was it what is his last name is it montgomery something oh something along something with an yeah. well I, I know that he has his own church i think it lives yeah. i think i think it might be alabama or tennessee one of those states he has his own church and all that stuff i saw an article about it recently about he donated a bunch of money or his church did to people through the storm for Asheville, something like yeah. that with the hurricanes it's just that he's just, he's a good guy altogether you know so and i haven't talked to him since the last tour we did which is 09 so i mean it's been what like 16 years 15 years but i'm mm -hmm. sure he's been a great guy this entire time he's a great guy then you know you stand up for what he believes and i mean that's I, like you were saying it's very uh noble and you know yeah. you have to be you have to think you'd be proud of that yeah and, and sorry sorry go ahead oh, i didn't good. want to it's just i think it was pretty cool as a concept in the music being like you know when he would say like i'm fearless and stuff like i like i just want to say i think it works on the other side too like being against evil and stuff like that like i yeah. felt like they did because we didn't have like we're talking about for today but as you said impending doom i feel like there there might be like most most people don't even know sometimes that, that like right, it took don't. me a long time to know that 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 they were um but for today was so freaking upfront about it and if yeah. you think about the the rise in the scene they were almost one of the only band being that upfront, and so because like by by that time the divorce spread out, all those bands were not as much. You know what I mean? Yeah, they were of, kind a of a lot of people had fallen off of the yeah, uh, of the wave, yeah. like so under oath. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so so it w it was special to see because when for today I don't remember when they kind of stopped or whatever, but like. A, a, they were pretty much, you know, it's a band I like actually, but like they, they, they kind of stopped and we didn't have, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, another no, no, band no, no, kind no of. No one replaced them in yeah. that sort of, uh, yeah. yeah, in that sort of style. And I don't that, think that so. Sort of, yeah. yeah. From my perspective, could, could be wrong, but uh, yeah. Nah, not, well, like, not like in the underground scene. I don't think there is a band that ever replaced them that kind of way. I mean, there's big Christian rock bands, of course. There's still like oh, the band yeah. Red and stuff like that and all these other bands. But they, there's not one that grew up in a scene where they're surrounded by bands like Rose Federal and Catalyst yeah. and, and Whitechapel and then whoever else. And the Acacia Strain and all these like really mean sounding, you know, bands, you know, those big brothers looking down kind of mean kind of vibe, bullying, bullyish almost vibe with the music. So, I mean, I'm sure they're that, like you were saying earlier, I'm sure it's badass that they did that. Probably coming out like, oh my God, where are we? 